Hello everyone. I've got a sketch box again today. Here's the art on the top and let's go on inside and take a look. So I am going to try to get everything out in one grab and then set the box aside. Let's try to stay in frame, huh? Alright, tissue paper is unnecessary at the moment, so well, it's gonna roll away. What do we have here? Looks like we've got some art. That's cute. Set that there. Sketch box, premium box. Manami. Here is the menu. I'm going to set that there. So we have a Manami twin brush set. It's a six piece set, comes with dual tip markers, great for hand lettering, which I'm really not that good at, and fine details. Rubber nib. Hmm. I do love blues though, so that's great. Let's set that up here. And then we have ooh, a custom Clairefontaine mixed media pad. 4x6, 20 sheets, heavy weight, bright white paper. And hmm, I wonder how great that is going to be with these supplies. But you know what? I need to start sketching on what they give me. So let's go ahead. Sketching. I mean, trying this stuff out. And pull the paper off. Why not? Set that there. And whoa, throw things around while I'm at it, huh? Then there is a cute sticker. I like to save these and put it in a journal. I usually keep a journal where I swatch things out with. What do we have here? A Luke Loom 2 brush marker. No, wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. That's this. Excuse me, this is the Marvy Le Plume 2 in suede, color number 90, and it's got, let's see if that will focus there, a fine nib there, and of course, a brush nib. Eh, not very good at this. Okay, stop that. I am so sorry. Now this is a Sennelier ink brush in intense green. Ooh, vert intense, if you want the French. So it's a bristled ink brush, great for traditional calligraphy. And finally, we have a Zig Ultrafine brush pen in white. Twist activated brush pen, great for highlights and embellishments. Hmm, it says you can try layering. There's directions on here on how to it started. I'm not going to do that yet. Let me go ahead and swatch out. Let's go with the Le Bloom. And how my writing goes downward. That's funny. Not really. Le Bloom. Brush marker. Get a nice fine line with that. And this is right suede. I like that. Oh, and you know what? While I'm at it, I'm pretty sure this is water soluble. Mm hmm. Of course, this is mixed media paper, so it's probably not going to completely dissolve on mixed media paper. Okay, moving on. Let's take a look at the Sennelier. Wait a minute. Maybe you have to just twist it on. Oh, here. This is what I was trying to remove. It's black, so I didn't see it as well. And then get it all the way on there. This has definitely has some sizing on it. So we're just going to uh, dip it in my water brush dish there and see if we can get some ink flying. Ooh, intense green is a pretty color. Oh my goodness, that doesn't look green, it looks like teal. Sorry, I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I'm so sorry. This pretty much is my favorite color, that's why I got so excited there. Sennelier. 
intense green, which to me, I don't know, tell me what you think, but this looks more blue, but I have no problem with that. I really do not. There, I got a lot there. Whoa, I got a lot there. Okay, whoa, let's put some of that down and set this on. I have like an oven liner non-stick material here to my left that you can't see. Now this dissolves really well even on the mixed media paper. I'm going to move the water over here. And then we have Monami. Uh, there was no way I was getting that open without help from a very sharp implement. Oh dear. This is a, wow, this is a lovely set. Two, four, six. Oh, it already said that. Why am I saying that again? So, let's get it on here. Do they have colors? No. I don't see any color information. That's kind of... Okay, there's some color information on the box. Will this focus? There you go. You can pause that for a moment if you'd like. But there doesn't appear to be, at first glance, any color information on the actual marker, which makes it really hard to tell. Um, yeah. Ooh. I kind of like the nib. It's... did it say it was rubber? It did say that. It's a little squeaky, but I like how it feels. So they're both brush nibs. Just one is smaller than the other. Um, water. If you can get past the squeaky, which it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, yeah, I like the feel of that better than, say, the loop le plume. I'd, if I think about why, <laughs> then maybe I'll mention it. This one... I don't know. I'm having more trouble with the same same brand. What's going on here? Maybe I should have not spoken so soon. Eh? Ooh, is this purple? My other favorite color. You know what? I might be holding it wrong. I did say I'm not really good at. Bro oh, I haven't had a whole lot of practice at brush lettering either. So I think that with the second marker I was probably holding it odd. But I don't have full range of motion in my hands. So it might be difficult to hold things properly anyway. Let's see. Don't ask me how you're supposed to hold it. Because that I obviously don't know well enough to explain it to others. There's probably people who know it better. That would be better to listen to. What do you think? I'm making the same thing over and over. Hmm. Well, let's hope I can get around to doing some piece of work with these. Because that'll be more interesting than my little swiggles. Little worms. I think I might actually have this gray color. I'm not sure. But, gosh, I want to say that it was printed on the marker, the other one. I'll have to look into that, and maybe I'll mention that in the comments or the description. That one clearly is NG7, the gray. I'm pretty sure this is G31. Brief interlude there, my camera ran out of memory. Hmm. Now, oh, the purple is probably easy to identify. Identify V08. And sky blue, blue celeste, blue. Hmm. This looks darker, so I'm going to say this is B09. I'm going to say this is B. 45 blue celeste and I'm gonna say that this one is B04 which is sky blue but I cannot say for certain if that's correct you know what when the camera died from memory I should have figured out how to open this darn 
Let's see. <sighs> Remove cap. With the pin tip facing downward, twist the bottom of the pin clockwise five to six times to stimulate clockwise, did it say? Yes. Two, three, four, five. Five to ten times. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. That's cute. The clicking sound. Nice. Oh. It does say twist the pin gradually. Um, I didn't do that. Really? There's nothing happening. Ooh, and it picked up some of this color, I think, on the... Mm -hmm. That took way more than five to ten clicks, but... Ooh, look! It's going now. And it does go over. Oh, please, I hope you can't hear my kids yelling in the background. Because I've already stopped the video twice. Mm. Okay, so... What is this made of? I don't know. I'm going to stop there and try to do something with this. And then we'll come back and add that on. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. Okay, so I started with the suede Le Plume marker. And I'm watering it down on the side here on a ceramic dish. And just using a watercolor uh, brush to color in these areas. I was surprised. The mixed media paper took water very well in my experience with mixed media paper. So I'm really excited about this paper pad. Uh, for some reason, my hands were really shaky when I was doing this. So, you know, uh, I struggled with like little shaky marks, but I really liked those brush markers, the nibs on those. Um, let's see, what else? Here I'm using that water brush pen, the Sennelier, and I really watered that down. That is an intense green in, or turquoise, if you call it, turquoise teal. Anyway, uh, I could not use that thing from the brush because I just could not control the water or the ink, but that's, I have trouble with water brushes anyway, so that's probably user error. And I hope you like seeing what I came up with, my little whale here and my little attempt at lettering. Um, I am not, I'm not sure how I feel about how the splash got all wet. I was thinking as I was doing it, oh, maybe I should have done the blue water first. But then I thought, oh, it'll blend and look nice and do watercolory things. But yeah, I'm not sure if I would do that again that way or not. So... Let me know what you think in the comments, and thanks for watching. Have a wonderful, creative day. Bye.